As you can see, I am standing in the synagogue's beautifully decorated sukkah that the children decorated yesterday during Hebrew school on Maimonides. And indeed, tonight we start the most joyous holiday of the entire year, the holiday of Sukkot, known as Man Simchatenu, the time, the season of our rejoicing. And it culminates and concludes with the happiest day on the Jewish calendar, Simcha Torah, the joy and the celebration of the Torah. And there's no better time to bring your family to celebrate in the synagogue and in the sukkah than this holiday. Because the most important thing we can teach our children, by example, is that Judaism is joyous. Judaism is full of life and excitement and vitality, passion, fun, enthusiasm. Let them see the vibrancy and the love of Judaism that we exhibit on this holiday, especially on Simcha Torah, when we dance and we sing and we celebrate with our beloved Torah. In 1945, there was a little boy by the name of Henrik. Henrik was born in Vilna. And in the year 1942, the Nazis invaded Vilna and his parents were taken off to the concentration camps. But before they did that, they took their little son, Henrik, who was only three years old, and gave him to their beloved nanny and said, listen, we don't know if we're gonna survive. At least our son, Henrik, will survive. Please take him and raise him for us. Miraculously, the father, Joseph, managed to survive the concentration camps. And while his wife perished, he went back to Vilna to reclaim his son, Henrik. He knocked on the door of the nanny. The nanny was happy to see that he survived, but sad to have to return little Henrik, who she had become so attached to. She packed him up and said goodbye to him tearfully but not after she had already taken him to the church to be baptized as a Christian. When Joseph was walking with his son Henrik, they passed the church and little Henrik crossed himself and bowed. And when the priest came out, he ran over to kiss his hand. Joseph wanted to tell him, no, you're a Jewish boy, but he knew he had to take it slow with his little son who was given away to the nanny at the age of three. That week was Simcha Torah, and Joseph decided that he would take his son, Henrik, to the synagogue of Vilno on Simcha Torah night. Jews gathered, having just been liberated from the camps, to the old synagogue in Vilno. And they began to dance the hakafot of Simcha Torah. But there was one problem, there were no Torahs in the synagogue. The Nazis had come and destroyed and confiscated all the Torahs. And so they danced without a Torah until finally there was a Russian soldier there who had said, I traveled thousands of miles and I haven't seen one Jewish child. Here we have a child, a six-year-old boy in the synagogue. He is our living Torah, let's dance with him. And with that, he lifted up little Henrik on his shoulders and the community and the congregation danced and sang with little Henrik as their beloved Torah, knowing that there is a future, there is a bright future to the Jewish people because we still have children who will carry the Torah on for the next generation to future subsequent generations. That little six-year-old boy, Henrik, was actually Abraham Foxman, who went on to an illustrious career of over 50 years of being an activist on behalf of the Jewish people, serving as the director of the ADL. But the story doesn't end there. This rat, a Russian soldier went on to move and immigrate to America and become a rabbi in Detroit, Rabbi Dr. Leo Goldman. He served this congregation faithfully for many, many years. And once he related this story of how he was a Russian soldier and was in the synagogue of Vilno in 1945, right after the Holocaust, and he saw a child and there were no Torahs and they danced with this child all night. Well, a famous composer by the name of A.B. Rothenberg was so inspired when he heard the story that he composed a song about the boy that they danced with on Simcha's Torah because there was no Torahs in the synagogue. But no one knew who this little boy was until one day an Israeli journalist was in Yad Vashem, Israel's Holocaust Museum, and he saw Abraham Foxman, the director of the ADL, leading a group of tourists in the, in the Yad Vashem Museum. 
And he related the story of how a little boy, he was given over to his nanny at the age of three to be reclaimed by his father at the age of six, taken to the synagogue in Simchus Torah. And his father brought him to the shul to see what Judaism is. And he told the story how a Russian soldier picked him up and danced with him all night. And they hugged him and embraced him and kissed him like a Torah. And the journalist couldn't believe it. He now knew who this child of the song of A.B. Rothenberg told by Dr. Leo Goldman really was. And so right immediately he went and called Rabbi Dr. Goldman, who was a retired rabbi in his 80s in Detroit, and told him, I discovered who this boy is. And not only that, he's Abraham Foxman, the head of the ADL. And the rabbi said to the journalist, it would mean so much to me if you could arrange a meeting so I could meet this boy one more time and embrace him once again. Well, a meeting was set up and Abraham Foxman flew to Detroit to meet with Rabbi Dr. Leo Goldman. When they met, they hugged and embraced and recited the blessing, Shechiyana v'kimana v'giyana l'azman hazeh. And Abraham Foxman said to Rabbi Goldman, I want you to know that that night when I came home from the synagogue, I said to my father, I said, Dad, I want to be a Jew because I love the Jewish church because they dance and they sing and they're happy. And Rabbi Dr. Leo Goldman said, to, Le, to Abraham Foxman, who is now a man of over 70 years old, 65 years after that 1945 Simchas Torah. He looked at him and he said, I cannot lift you on my shoulders today, but I want you to know that ever since I carried you on my shoulders the night of Simchas Torah in the Vilno Synagogue in 1945, I've carried you in my heart every single day. Simchas Torah is the night that we dance and we celebrate and we send the message loud and clear. And the message is that Torah and a life of mitzvahs is joyous and celebratory. As Abe Foxman said, I knew I wanted to be a Jew because I saw that Judaism is happy, it's joyous, it's celebratory. And we carry in our hearts each and every Jew, past, present, and future. We dance, we celebrate, we lift ourselves up high and we say to Hashem, we love your Torah, we love the mitzvot, grant us the ability to sing and dance and celebrate every single day of our lives. I'm inviting everyone to come to the synagogue, to eat, to drink, to celebrate in the sukkah, and remember on the night of Simchas Torah, bring your children and your grandchildren to the synagogue and celebrate the most joyous day on the Jewish calendar. Chag Sameach and a happy circus.